Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I, Ong Yuan from West Spring Secondary School, is here to present to you about scanning tunneling microscopy of graphite, gold, and graphene oxide surfaces. The purpose of STM is to study atomic arrangement and dimensions of surfaces. The objective is to scan and analyze images of surfaces such as graphite, gold, and graphene oxide. The STM works based on quantum mechanical tunneling. An extremely sharp tip is scanned over the surface to fill the atoms. It uses the tunneling current that will flow across a small distance between the surface and the needle to scan individual atoms on the surface. Therefore, the need for an extremely sharp tip. The STM it relies on quantum mechanical tunneling where electrons tunnel across an energy barrier that is higher than its own kinetic energy. In this case, the chance of it tunneling decays exponentially with distance of the needle as it is moved further away from the sample. Using the variation of the tunneling current across the tip from the sample while performing a raster scan across the surface, we can map out the hills and valleys on the surface as created by the atoms. There is actually a simplified version of the STM, also known as a tabletop STM, which is small and compact, convenient to be used in the teaching lab. However, since the actual STM consists of vacuum, the results will then be more accurate than that of the tabletop STM. For this purpose, we want to test the viability of the tabletop STM in scanning samples other than standard samples such as the highly ordered pyrolytic graphite, also known as HOPG. The figure on the left shows a wide scan of HOPG surface and step terraces are imaged. The arrangement of graphite atoms are shown on the right and the pattern displays the hexagonal arrangement of these atoms. In this slide, the step terraces of gold surfaces are imaged. However, the image of gold fine scan that was obtained is not desirable even after many attempts. The resolution in this case is just not good enough to show the atomic features. Finally, the most interesting part of the project. We have the image and topography of graphene oxide, a single layer of graphite sheet with oxygen atoms on it. It shows that compared to gold, images of graphene oxide is possible to be obtained but the resolution is less than that of HOPG. The wavy nature of the image reflects the elastic nature and the creases on the graphite sheet. The atomic distances match those predicted in theory. Thank you for your kind attention.